Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's April 22nd, 2021, Earth Day, and first vaccine shot for me day. I am a Pfizer fella, halfway home, halfway to seeing a ball game in person again. Uh, and I don't know if you can hear it in your head, but... Uh, the bass is thumping because we are back up in the stadium club with some throwback Thursday action. Going to rip four fat packs of 1994 Stadium Club Series 1, the strike year. Uh, I like to call this the label maker set because the names look like they were done on an old school analog label maker. So 90s. Uh, before we get to the dugout, a few fun things. Uh, first, I did a live mail pop-up last night, opened up a package from Fab Sub Matt Spencer, who always delivers the goods. He sent some awesome PC hits, but he also sent packs. And we opened two Heritage packs, and we pulled our first Chrome, if you can believe it, player to be named later delivered for us, Scherzer Chrome to nine ninety nine. Can't go wrong. Looks awesome. Also a little trout action there. Um... But we only opened those two packs, uh, and so I'm going to rip the rest of them next week. And look at this. Look at all the goodies he sent. Matt Spencer knows how to spoil. We will do a special episode uh, of just those packs next week. Should be a good time. Stay tuned for that. Uh, then uh, this is also kind of a big day in baseball history. Uh, first, in 1914, Babe Ruth had his first pro game as a pitcher, a six-hitter, 6-0 six win. The next year, in 1915, the Yankees donned the pinstripe uniform for the first time, never looked back. Yankees are always uh, in throwback unis. Then, in 1959, chairman of the board, Whitey Ford, threw a 15K shutout, 1-0 win against the Senators, and he did it in a mere 14 innings. You want to talk about workload. Uh, in 1981, Fernando Mania was full on. Uh, Fernando threw his third shutout in four starts. Uh, and finally, in 1991, the Big Hurt hit the first home run in the new Comiskey Park. Woo! Talk about a throwback Thursday. A lot of history on this day. Okay, in the dugout today are two guys who changed teams this year. We pulled both of these autos. First up, we got Nate Lowe, not Lau, uh, who is a Ranger now and hit a big homer in the eighth inning to topple the Angels yesterday. Uh, and the Angels were hitting homers as they seem to be doing a lot lately. Uh, and then we've also got Josh Van Meter, uh, who is now a D-back. And yesterday he hit a pinch hit homer in the ninth inning. They were down three. He hit a three-run bomb catapulted the D-backs to a win against his former team. Stadium Club Variety, this is a really uh, nice one. Now, if this kid could just turn out to be, you know, like the next Mike Trout, that would be awesome. Uh, but it looks awesome that he, you know, he's in the Reds Uni. It's the red version, number 50. Do I have any Reds fans watching? I'm going to post uh, something on the community tab, a little Reds card giveaway. Not that card, but uh, some nice, two, two nice cards. Uh, so if you're a Reds fan, I would love to have a, a Reds fan chime in and take those cards. Uh, okay, now we rip. As always, check the description below for links to the Clary's Global Scholarship. See cards you like. They can be yours. You're also just doing a little good in the world. Obviously, 1994, junk era, uh, strike year. But some nice cards. Uh, fun, you know, looking very 90s. Ooh, not bricked even. Very cool. Uh, there are varieties. Uh, there's like a gold kind of card, um, members club or something like that. And of course, we all just like Stadium Club because of the great photography like this. Pretty cool. Ricky! When he was a Blue Jay, it looks like. Let's take a look at the back. Global Larceny. Got to do a quick shout out there to Brian Seaman, the Clippers announcer who has so many awesome calls. And when a steal happens, he calls it a leather larceny. Love that. Let's get Ricky over here. Because Ricky be Ricky. Papa Cecil. 
Omar, nice. Cool shot right there. Todd Jones, this is MLB debut. He looks like he's 40 years old. Albert, don't call him Joey Bell. Hall of Famer Harold Baines. What a shot. What what an image in the dugout. Very cool. Scott Kamenecki. Jose Vizcaino. Ooh, we got info card 9 of 10. Oh, I thought it would be something cool on the front, but it's just not something else. Interesting. A couple cards turned around. There we go. There's a, an insert. Not uh, anybody super duper. I mean, Gary Dizarcina had a nice career, but uh, right, that would have been nice if it was. Oh, we got two of them. That's cool. Oh, let's take it. We'll take a better look at that one. Ron Gant, Braves fan favorite, great ball player, solid career. That is a beauty of a card. Really dig that. Look at this. We got the, like the Bo Jackson bat on the shoulder. Pose, showing off the muscles. Very nice. I know Gant does TTM. That might have been a good TTM card right there. Blackjack. Tim Nearing. More Ron Gant. Yeah, I want to say one year I was say yeah, he had 36 homers in 93. He had pop. Wasn't a huge guy, uh, but strong and fast. He's give us his stats on the back here. Six foot, 175. All right, that, that's actually, for a guy like me who's not big, uh, that's that's pretty good size. I would kill to be six foot, right? Is that is that greedy? Like, I don't need to be six, you know, three or four. Just six, just an even six would be nice. Height is power, people. That was pretty good. Uh, fat, right? Believe in the fat pack. Pretty cool. Jody Reed, nice. That's what I love about Stadium Club. What a great shot. Looks like uh, Moises Alou, maybe, down there. Mickey Morandini, very familiar name from the 90s. Pulled a lot of his cards back in the day. There we go, nice. Sandy Alomar. Very cool. Craig Jeffries, the superstar who wasn't. What do we got here? Oh, very cool. My man Josiah Keene just chimed in uh, the other day with a comment. He's a Mariner fan. Kind of took a little break from collecting, which a lot of us tend to do here and there. Uh, but he's back. The Mariners are, you know, looking all right. Uh, his boy Mitch Hanniger uh, got some pop again. So uh, Josiah... If this is a card that you would like, oh, and look who's behind him. You let me know. Bip, the Bipster. Do not have this. Oh, and it's an insert. Very cool. A lot of Reds action today on the show. Love that. Wow, don't have this card. It's the insert variety. I am sorry, Ricky Henderson, but Bip usurps your spot. Oh, and a Griffey and a Piazza. Wow. We are hot. Hot, hot. Very cool. I don't think Mike Piazza really gets as much love uh, as he probably deserves. There's a, a slab steel, possibly slab steel giveaway of Mike Piazza coming up. And it's the it's the insert variety. Pretty cool. Griffey. Ooh, Eric Karos, also underrated. Good long career as a Dodger. Lifetime Dodger, I believe. I don't think he played anywhere else. Steve Traxel, the man who gave up Mark McGuire's tainted record-breaking home run. Against when they were playing, uh, yeah, they were playing the Cubs. That was the heyday, the Sammy Big Mac heyday. Two solid packs, really. Those are, those are a lot of fun. I thought I'd go through the bottom here and make it a little easier on myself. See, you don't even have to always be chasing the big stuff, right? Big expensive cards or the big monster auto. This has been fun so far. Only two packs in, and we've got some really nice-looking cards. Hall of Famers, PC favorites. Bagwell, wow. Now, this is 
not a great photo, and it's clearly taken from a ways away. Uh, it's definitely cropped, zoomed in. It not very crisp. Wow. I've got to believe there was a better image than that. Eduardo! Always fun listening to Eduardo on uh, ESPN. Obviously, all Jewish team stud Sean Green. Blouser, Arthur Rhodes, Rob Deere. Nice, Gerald Clark. Also, I believe, played for the Las Vegas Stars when I was a youngster. Jim Eisenreich. Get your Scott service time in. Jason Bure. Uh, he was actually quality pitcher for a hot minute. Didn't quite live up to the hype, but, uh, was pretty good. He was, that was, these were the, you know, the early nineties, the year, the years, the White Sox, they, they really thought they were going to maybe win a world series. The warrior. Not bad. Not bad. First two packs were better. I got to admit. All right, let's get that last pack. Mojo player to be named later. Are you ready for something really cool? Or are you feeling a little tired after delivering our first heritage Chrome? There's going to be plenty more heritage rippage coming up, which I'm excited about because I do love the design. Hoping for my, still hoping my first ever heritage auto. So tough. As Hoss of Card says, heritage going to heritage, meaning it is tough to get good hits. Roberto Hernandez, good closer in his time. So we got something behind it. Royce Clayton. Brady Anderson, who had a year there or two where he went off, and I would say it was probably tainted in the steroid era. Steve Avery, the underappreciated part of that Braves' dominant rotation back in the 90s. I mean, yeah, it's definitely tough to compete when you got Maddox, Glavin, Smolty, and then Steve Avery. But good pitcher. I mean, look at this. 2.94 ERA. Went. 18 and 6 that year. Yeah, he was good. I believe the youngest, too, of that uh, crop. Gary Sheffield, who I just read an article, said he does not watch baseball at all anymore. He doesn't like it. He thinks they've changed the game too much to make it too hitter friendly, even though we are just seeing strikeout after strikeout after strikeout. He did have a lot of pop, and I never hear his name mixed in there with any steroids. But I remember when he came over to the Padres, uh, he looked big. He was bigger than he was when he was a rookie. Um, but he had a lot of pop. Joey Cora. Very cool. Tim Costa. There's another never was. We got Cliff Floyd. Ooh. What we got here? Another one. Oh, let's give it away. If you want a Mike Piazza... We just pulled two of them. Just comment with I'm in or gimme, gimme, gimme. One of the two. And anything else you'd like to write. I love doing that little spontaneous giveaway. Wayne Kirby. For my swinging Friar fans out there, Wayne Kirby is the first base coach for the Padres now, and he is not in playing shape these days. Oh, that's actually really nice. Cliff Floyd, I think an underrated player. I do have his autograph on a baseball that I got uh, ordered from a magazine when I was a youth. Um, I think he's a, a, a good, uh, not announcer, but he, you know, he does the MLB network, I believe. Oh, that's good. This is a, kind of a Padre, uh, Bru, uh, Braves. Uh, oh, Mike Hampton. Look at that will throw back. That's pretty cool. Nice, nice card to close it out on. Three total studs for the Bravos. Dave Justice does have himself a Yankee World Series ring, too. There we go. You know, pretty good. I, that was a fun rip. Really like the images. Really dig these foils. Like I said, if you want a Mike Piazza, it's a little spontaneous giveaway action. Set that up right there. There we go. Get Bip a little spot here to shine. Sorry, Cliff. Move you in the back. 
Well, leave a comment, everybody, and let me know what you thought of this a little bit longer than normal episode. Always look forward to reading your comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the Broadcast Booth.